Hi, my name is Mohammed Hamza Sakir and I live in Riyadh. I've been studying robotics for two years at King Salman Science Services. The robot I've made is the Orbot. Orbot stands for off-roading ro off roading battle bot. It can off-road, meaning in a sense it can climb over objects that are too high. Maybe in the future, scientists can create this in an upgraded version and have a stronger connection so that maybe miles or kilometers away, this robot can be in battle, can be in battles without humans being in it and saving the death cause in every battle. Or maybe it can, uh, maybe it can go in places where um, hu uh, cars made by humans cannot go. So. Now I want to talk about the components I've put in this, the things I've put in this, and why did I choose studying like this. So, if you can see, I'll start from the back. At the back, I have I've made I've added this uh, function. I have added the spikes at the back so that any robot that ca that comes from behind, my robot will be able to defend itself against these key components of the CPU and the inference bot. The CPU is always used in every Robo Robo bot, and the inference bot is the board that you can use to uh, connect the remote. So on the side, I've created a structure that the uh, at the same time the wheels can be protected from the top, and also it can stop robots uh, from going here. Here I've added a tire for fun. It can since this place is made from rubber, it can since it's made from rubber, it can deflect the enemies of uh, attacking thing so at the front i have a spear that can uh go uh, that can pierce the enemy's defense the b enemy the bellboard's defense uh this thing i just created i uh, created myself maybe it can work as a defense system or maybe if uh, any of the wires get stuck in this this can be this will be able to uh, get it stuck to get the wires stuck in this and then i'll be able to maybe unplug them so that Maybe the enemy's robot will be able to shut down. Here I've added a big uh, shield that that, will, that covers most of the ro front robots, so it will be able to defend the front. And here, this I've added a rod. So this has two functions. Number one, at the end I've add, added spikes so that it looks more like a battle bot. And this will be able to, if the enemy comes at this area, I'll be able, I hope I'll be able to crush it and also this uh, rod okay is heavy and that's what I need when I'm climbing the objects or doing uh, the off-roading the front will, this thing will give weight to the front so that the robot doesn't tip over towards the back here I've added a caterpillar I've added a caterpillar so that any robot that's high enough to go to the inference spot this will be able to bounce back. And since I've used a level three Robo Robo kit, most of the level one and level two battle bots won't be able to go that high to reach the key, uh, key, component, uh, key co components to actually make any damage to this. So now I'll turn it on and function it. Where I get it simple. The one makes it go forward, backward. It will turn left and turn right. like my robot uh, if you like my robot then please uh, go to the youtube channel robo robo saudi arabia and like my video thank you very much and bye